give them a finger and they'll take an arm. A perfect saying to understand the state of the world. Imagine the government is a medieval empire conquering a castle. Your freedom is that castle and a battle has to be waged to gain that castle back. They're not just going to give the castle back for free. Their end goal in mind, what they're now calling the Great Reset, is a communist socialist program to enslave us. No cars, no meat, no travel, no private property, mandatory medical compliance. Most people are happy wearing masks, being locked inside like rats, like some weird, crazy dystopian movie. Virtue signaling about how they're good little government slaves. It's amazing what fear can do. People suddenly think the government cares about their health. Our food, water, and air have been poisoned for dozens of years so that people are so stupid they can be convinced the government cares about their health. Let alone the millions of people out of work thousands upon thousands of small businesses closing, something that is probably going to be ignored until they're all gone. The psychological warfare and brainwashing really works. Ever try to convince a religious person their God doesn't exist? Yeah, good luck. Except what the media says now is their new God and they ain't changing their mind. This will never end because the masses have been convinced it's for their own good. What's really crazy is how many things we can refer back to that when said to any reasonable person would raise suspicions about the truth. Event 201. The John Hopkins Center for Health Security in partnership with the World Economic Forum and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation hosted Event 201, a high-level exercise on October 18, 2019 in New York, New York. The exercise illustrated areas where public-private partnerships will be necessary during the response in order to diminish large-scale economic and societal consequences. Coincidentally, three months before it actually happened. How convenient. Everything is planned and the truth is hidden in plain sight. You just require half a brain to recognize what they're telling you. Whatever they do is completely intended and scripted. Scientists, professionals, experts, Fact checkers are simply there to deceive you from the truth. They are liars. People can lie to you. People can tell you something that's not the truth, something the American public doesn't seem to understand. Why would someone lie to me? They're good. Fucking moron. It's so obvious when terms like the new normal and social distancing we're ushered in at the mere start and are still the primary terminologies being used. That social distancing combined with the dehumanization aspects of mask wearing creates an environment that is conducive to people ratting out on their neighbors for taking off their mask to eat their breakfast cereal. Oh, uh, I think I saw my neighbor cough through his window. You better go make sure he's not sick. That is our grim near future reality with how people are thinking. And this Toyota Corolla, AKA you know what, really is the perfect tool for control. If you can force people to do basically anything, then just say, oh wait, it mutated. Oh wait, masks actually don't work. You know, a constantly evolving sickness that never goes away is an unmatched weapon for tyrannical rule. Oh, we're doing this for your safety. It's for the good of everyone else. And the public will believe whatever they plaster the mainstream news with. Always fear-mongering stories to keep people in a state of panic, yet people can't even look up in the sky and see they're spraying chemicals in it every other day. That brings us to something everyone has noticed. All of this infrastructure that has been set up, notably starting in February when they locked us inside. When everyone was inside for that first wave, the five grams towers were set up, they put LED lamps on every street post and are installing cameras on every intersection and highway, smart meters in every home, Amazon Alexa devices, and we've already been monitored, especially these past years, if you have a phone. It's just going to be an extreme step up to where they will literally be able to read your mind and change your thoughts. You know, the high levels of these frequencies and the devices they require are in reality what's getting us sick. Unironically, the symptoms of Toyota Corolla are identical to radiation sickness. 
and humans are electromagnetic beings. You know, our brains emit frequencies of our thoughts. That's how every energy particle on the planet functions. And when you disrupt that with these non-native things, you know, you can alter people and also uh, get them to do what you want. So where does you know what tie into this surveillance? A microchip for medical monitoring was approved back in 2004. So imagine if they chip you to monitor your vital signs, you know, to make sure, you know, you don't have a fever, that you aren't a danger to other people, that you don't get anyone else sick. Then once you have that system in place of good versus bad, you can introduce the social credit system that China has. You know, it's beyond are you sick or not. Literally punish people for going out without a mask, staying out too late, eating too much steak, whether that means, you know, a fine or as drastic as no food for your family. That includes making us half cyborgs, frying us with radiation 24 seven, you know, as if they aren't already microwaving babies with monitors and ultrasounds. Coinciding with this, the central banks have to introduce a digital currency. If they control all the wealth electronically, they will be able to penalize you with the flick of a switch, literally seize all your assets if you disobey. A lot of what's being said is just to keep people in fear. Oh, every day cases are at an all time high. Continued psychological warfare, fear mongering, brainwashing in order to mind control people, they have to be in fear. And uh, one of the government organizations actually came out with a list of 10 criteria in order to brainwash someone. And the mainstream media is basically checking every single box. It's absolutely crazy. But there is unfortunate truth to a lot of what is being said. You know, the tools they will use to usher in this new system. We saw food shortages back earlier this year. All store shelves completely wiped out and empty. These are planned and as with everything, are to keep people in a scared and hopeless mindset. They control the food supply. If there's a food shortage, they planned it. And when people need food, man, will they get desperate. As much as I like to say they wouldn't take it to that level, they're you know, starving people to death in other countries already. What's more likely though is they just ban meat consumption due to animals getting sick or fake climate lies. You know, they can literally say, oh, well, the animals are sick, so you can't eat the meat. Or they can say, oh, well, you can't eat that steak because uh, it's going to burn down a tree. Just crazy stuff. You have to realize how crazy these psychos are. This is a real tweet. It's not a fake account. It's not a troll post. Someone tweeted this. The World Economic Forum are working with the Biden administration to ensure that most people will survive the coming food shortages. Citizens that have up-to-date documents will receive regular packages of plant-based protein product. This is fucking nuts. It's absolutely insane. I don't know how people don't just wake up and, and just run into the forest. It's, it's asinine. We're also seeing travel restrictions, and so you might not be able to run to the woods. And that makes sense given the circumstances we have in the world. For the safety of everyone else, you need to follow our rules in order to travel, whether that means getting injected or tested. The recent article from Ticketmaster seemed to be testing the waters of barring people from public events for not participating in their pharmaceutical tyranny. You know, we know schools already require injections. Now employers are doing the same thing, especially, you know, hospitals and stuff. Uh, to get your kids back in school, you need to get injected five times a year. That's, that's what's going to happen. The New York State Bar Association is recommending mandatory injections for the state of New York. The mandatory injection thing throws me for a loop because these psychos have to adhere to some type of natural law where you consent. So I'm pretty sure they can't just spray this crap in the air and poison all of us, otherwise they would do that already. Uh, but you know, if mandatory injections don't scare you, the FEMA camps in New Zealand might. You know, rumor they're also building the same camps in Canada. The craziest part about this, the test they're basing all of this tyrannical rule off of is inaccurate. It has false positives, making up arbitrary requirements for the public to abide by, tightening the shackles link by link. They've never even proved that you know what 
exists. All of that being said, we don't know exactly how they're going to get there. We just have those general ideas. But we do know what the end goal is. And they've even publicized their intentions, calling it the Great Reset. We've been referring to it as a global new world order. Basically, everyone is a slave under the ruling elites and secret societies. Their two strongest tools, the fake illness and the fake climate nonsense, are very real because they control them. They can radiate people at the push of a button and spray chemicals in the sky and metals with a simple order to the military to alter the weather. The average person is too brainwashed, too poisoned to understand that illness and climate are controlled by the global elite, which in turn controls us. Now it gets discouraging once you realize that the majority of what you've been told your whole life and everything you're currently being told is fake and it requires a great deal of intelligence and understanding you know, to peel back each of the layers and try to figure out what's really going on. Uh, but uh, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you send this to some people. I think this is a pretty good summary of you know, what's happened uh, over the past few months and things we've been seeing. I guess the most important thing you can do is try to maintain a positive mindset you know, focus on some goals. That's why I'm, I'm really gunning on getting this uh, you know, farm operation up and running to keep providing you guys with high quality food and, uh, and get people healthier and happier and, and thinking straight. But if you guys could please just drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Uh, of course, subscribe, make sure uh, the notification bell is checked. And above all, if you guys can share this on social media, help me out a little bit. Take care, guys.